Hello everybody, welcome back to the Racecraft server. Just, just me this time, no more uh, messing around in the end with all the, the whole gang. We have our endstone now placed here in the monument building. And uh, that's where I want to start out because last episode, the last two episodes was kind of just that adventure and we, we passed through here but I didn't really show off what, uh, what all has been done. You can see a lot more blocks have been placed. Uh, they are in no particular order just yet, uh, but yeah, there's not enough platforms. I'm gonna have to uh, gonna have to make a second floor of just these same platforms, and that will be below. That will be in the basement where uh, my current little workshop is. So that will have to move. Uh, you can see I started to kind of group some of the stuff together, but oh hi hi, Mr. Flamebow. I don't think that was your area. Clearly I need to work on the lamps next. Or eventually. Someday. Uh, let's look upstairs. Upstairs is all done. And I am very happy with how it has come out. I was pretty nervous about having all of these columns. But it works out perfectly. Because you can see now. The main theme for upstairs is going to be these maps. And every column will have a map on it. Uh, Ducks did this one as just kind of a test. This is the zoom we're going to use. Uh, I would, I haven't decided. I might want to do a sign below it or name name the uh, the map, whatever biome it is. Uh, the sign probably makes more sense, but the, the naming might be cooler. Maybe both. I don't know. All right, so that's, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you is that the roof and everything is done. Uh, this little opening here is the only thing I have left to work out. But over, overall, I would say it is a complete structure now. It's certainly not a complete project, but it's at least not an ugly, you know, nuisance to be sitting here because it's uh, so ugly from the outside. So it's, it's all finished. It looks pretty darn good if I do say myself. And I do. Alrighty, so outside I was working on some of the roads. This is going to carry on uh, that way. And I decided to carry the same theme through the road and loop it around over here. And right here at the entrance, I'm going to work out this stone path to go around uh, a little bit of a, a lake. Or not really a lake, it's more, I'm going to try and make it like a fountain right here that flows down into this and flows off into the river here. Uh, the man-made river that I've yet to do anything with. Uh, it's gonna take a lot of terraforming. Not my strongest suit, the whole terraforming thing, but we'll see. But I don't actually want to work on the monument building today. I wanna work on a nether, not another hub, but a, a nether building, like the portal area for the overworld. Uh, that's over there. I am starving. It's in that little cobblestone building for now. Uh, I think I'm going to make it in the same area, but just a little bit more of an elaborate design. And to do that, I want to use some of the new blocks. So now I'm going to hop on my horse and go all the way over to the nether portal, where I can travel to the nether and try and find some new terrain to try and find some new blocks. And when I get there, I'll come back to you. Okay, just kidding. Before I go, I want to do one thing. The uh, We are, I forgot to say this, we are on the new snapshot now. And that is why I'm going to go look for new blocks. And because we're on a new snapshot, that means that the uh, anvil and enchanting and everything like that, uh, the repairing is all different. And what I want to try and do is combine this one and this one. And possibly give it a name. We'll see if I can afford it. Uh, I've got 30 levels that I've just kind of slowly gotten up to, so rather than wasting them by dying off in my adventure, I want to use them now. So let's see. Put them this way. 16. 16, that's not, that's definitely not as bad as it used to be. Oh, what about this way? 20. Okay, so yeah, it's better to have your, your good tool first. So what if we rename? Oh, it only goes up one. Very nice. Okay. So this one's going to be called Block Slayer. And he's in efficiency five, unbreaking two, which isn't fantastic, but the uh, the repairing is so much cheaper now. I'm not really I'm not really worried about that unbreaking two. 
but this will be a very nice working pick. You know, it's not really a mining pick, it's just kind of uh, for tearing down structures and as I'm building, just to kind of make the building process faster. Uh, there's some changes in here. The tree is gone because I'm going to work on the path. And I made a little bit of a back gate. I haven't finished the walls yet, though. But at least we can get in and out. And the bad people can't. Alright, now for reals. I'm going to go off and try to explore and find some new generated terrain. Probably outside of that desert we found a long time ago. Alrighty, so we should be coming up on some new terrain here soon. Uh, there hasn't really been a terrain update, but there is just... Uh, I'm getting some weird lag, but probably from generating terrain. But uh, yeah, there's not been a terrain update, just new blocks are now spawning in kind of like a dirt-like formation. Uh, so that's why I'm looking for the new terrain. And I'm noticing that the... Uh, the F3 mode is different. This little cursor thing moves to show you your XYZ uh, directions, which is pretty neat. I guess it's kind of useful, though I've already gotten turned around in this journey and was going the wrong way for about 500 bucks. So maybe not that useful. Um, let's see what else is different. Uh, it shows the day. Apparently we're on day 2141 on the server. Uh, the light levels and everything like that, the sky and block levels, all very much so easier to read. And uh, the XYZ coordinates are easier to read, so uh, that's all good improvements. I'm uh, keeping that up because I know, I know judging by our map, oh, I guess I know judging by the lag, uh, when we're going to hit new terrain. So I think we're probably pretty much there. Just gotta look for a cave opening, because that seems to be the best way to find them. The, uh, oh, there's another dark forest. And I was so excited about those, uh, those forests, and they're, they're all over the place. I'm oh, sorry, roofed forest. But it is dark, so the name's not that wrong. Uh, I guess we'll go over there. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, because this is gonna be too close to, uh, old terrain. All we gotta do is find a cave. Hopefully there's nothing dangerous waiting for us under there. That is the problem with them. It would still be cool to build something on the leaves, though. Reminds me of, uh... We used to have a FTB server, and there was the Twilight Forest. These are very reminiscent of those. Alright, so I guess the uh, journey continues till I find a cave. Well, maybe not. There's a cave right here. <laughs> no cut! Maybe cut? Nope, not a cave. There's gotta be one around here somewhere. Is that a cave? Uh, it's almost a cave. It's very close to one. Well, there's some new stuff right there, so. Which one is this? Oh, one block of it? That's not gonna get me very far. This is diorite. Okay. Oh, there's one down. Guess I'll gather some materials while I'm out here. Uh, did I bring any torches? No, oh, but I got stuff to make them. Uh, and I hear baby zombies already. Uh, I hear you. I don't want to hear you. Where are you? I see some uh, more diorite. Oh yeah, this is a nice big patch of it. I'm gonna try and cr collect quite a bit of this because uh, it's gonna be a hard thing to come by with our spawn. We've explored a lot. Oh, well, there's some uh, more new ones. We have explored a lot of the area around spawn, so that was kind of a mistake. We probably should have left some more areas unexplored. I didn't expect an update like this, though. So. Alright, so what is this one? This is granite, right? No, this is andesite. Okay. This is the one I think I like the most as a uh, un unpolished, like it's normal, that normal block, that's that's a pretty useful, I think it's going to be a useful path making block. Alright, so I am going to be collecting away here. I don't want to chew up this entire episode just on me searching, oh wait, that's the new, other new stuff. That's granite, okay. Well, looks like I got a lot of it right here, so 
I'm going to collect up a good amount of this stuff and head back and we'll start working on the nether building. Alrighty, welcome back. It has been not uh, two Minecraft days, but two real days since I started this episode. Um, to be honest, I don't, I don't even remember how much we did or how much we recorded of that uh, first bit. I remember going off and exploring past the desert to try and find new blocks. I did that and I returned and I had to get right back to work on, uh, many of you know I'm working on a project car at the moment in real life and I ended up having to pull the motor out of that and put it back in within about mm, 24 hours total so that's been chewing up my time lately but I did return from the trip and I got let's see four stacks of everything and five of the granite and then uh, today I decided I wanted some more materials and I uh, gathered some red sand from the mesa. I grabbed a little bit of clay too, made some nether bricks, smelting some nether rack down. I collected a whole nother stack of quartz and almost a stack of glowstone. So I think now I am actually ready to begin construction. But first we must destruct. Get rid of this stupid derpy cobblestone building that's been driving me nuts. It's an eyesore just like this cobblestone wall. That's the next thing to go is the last of the cobblestone walls. Um, so let's focus on this first. I did collect some more obsidian but I'm going to take down this portal and gather some more because I want to make it a large portal. And I think I've, I've not really got a design worked out but uh, I've got a general idea of what I want to do and it's going to be more of a not an underground but kind of the nether portal should be at the bottom I think because uh, I was originally thinking of putting the portal on top of like a temple uh, but it makes more sense to me to have it kind of at the bottom of a pit like you're going down into the nether so it'll be here-ish but I'm going to here-ish uh, but I'm going to kind of dig down and try to make the portal in the center and then we'll build off of that. Oh, looks like I did make this portal weird sized. Alright, well, I'm going to use Mr. Uh, Block Slayer here to destroy this portal. And I'm going to start digging down, try and work out some kind of a design for the, uh, for the pit. I guess is what I'm going to call it. It's kind of an area area will where the portal will be nested and try to make it secure so that mobs can't get in there because multiple times now I've gone into the nether and had creepers or zombies or skeletons or other unpleasant things greeting me at the door so I definitely want to make it secure as well alrighty so while I'm grinding away at this I will cut away and come back to you when I got some progress because I'm sure I'm a little short on on time now. Uh, we may only get the pit worked out today, but have no fear. I will finish this project this week and hopefully have a couple episodes here from the Bracecraft server. Okay, so once again, it has been another real life day in between uh, these two little breaks. Right as I was building the pit... I, uh, I managed to spill a drink on my keyboard, which is usually not a big deal. Most keyboards nowadays are, you know, um, waterproof. Apparently mine was not, and it uh, instantly died, and I had to wait until today to go over Target, get a new cheap keyboard, because I don't like uh, the big fancy keyboards or anything. I like the nice, simple, street-shaped keyboards. So I spent $9.89 on a new keyboard, and we are back in business. I have um, I have finished the pit. I kind of went through a couple different color themes, but this is the one I stuck with. So this is using oh crap, now I gotta remember what these are called. Um, polished diorite, and then polished granite, and then polished diorite, and then nether nether brick uh, with some redstone lamps around. So this is where uh, now I gotta get keys are in a little different place. Uh, this is actually a little bit narrower of a keyboard, so I gotta get my 
my bearings straight again. Um, but yeah, this is where the portal will be nested. It will just kind of encompass this area. Uh, it won't just be the pit. I'm going to build a structure up and around. Uh, to kind of, kind of almost, uh, almost like a pergola over top of the area. And I want to do a wall around it so that things can't get in. But for now, let's try and work out a portal design. So you can leave. You can leave. You can leave. I tried to use the red sand. Whew. That is um. That is not a easy task. Um, it's it's a very. I think. Let me let me just test them real quick. I think maybe the acacia wood and this birch wood would be about the only things it would really work with. Yeah, that's not too bad. And it works okay with regular sand. I don't think I have any of that on me. Uh, but with the colors I have right now, not not very good. Okay, let me just pop one down just so you can see. It it looks so much so much more orange than all the other colors that it just it, it doesn't work. Okay, but anyway, back on subject. How about a portal? Uh, again, I have not really worked out a idea for the design. I want to see. I can't remember if you can get away with non-square portals just yet. I think you can. Uh, we'll see. So let me try. Just, just real quick, just to see. Maybe we can do something a little different. Oh, uh, get some scaffolding blocks on the bar. Put dirt here. Yeah, I think that's how I would like it. And not flush with the bottle because I have an idea for something to dress this up. And obviously I need stairs to get in and out because that's annoying. Okay, so it goes over one more and up. Right? Right. And then I will do a dirt. Here. Now how big is that going to be? Not too bad if if it will work like this. I really don't know. Um, I have not. I should have tested this in Creative first. That would have been the smart thing to do. Uh, just kind of uh, kind of anxious to get this rolling. Obviously, it's been what three or four days now that I've been trying to record this episode. I didn't think it would be so difficult, but it has been. All right, now I want to go just up. My gut feeling is this is not going to work, but. I want to try it. And over. It would be really cool if it does, though. So. Alright, and then go down. And there's the circle, or the shape that I want it. It's kind of like a bullet shape. Here's the test. Let's see what we get. Nothing. We got a fire. Let me just throw my flint and steel at it. And light myself on fire. Um... Bummer. Okay, that's not the end of the world. I will just knock these out and make it into a square again. Is this my if it's too five? No. Get back here, Block Slayer. Oh yeah, that's the best part about this pick. I should have named it the uh, the Obsidian Slayer. Much better than a regular pick. Okay. So let's square this back up. It will fit, I believe. Get these back on the bar. Just like so. Get out of the way. Get out of my life, dirt. You don't go there. See, that used to be the end of the world if I had placed this wrong. But now, eh, it's not so bad. I hear a dying chicken. Why would I hear a dying chicken? Maybe there's some lava around here. Um, okay. Now do you work? Yes. Okay. So we got a giant portal. It's kind of nested into this uh, into this pit, I guess is what I decided to call it. That is not the final design, but that is the size of the portal. And I am going to dress it up from here to try and hide the obsidian. I don't really want the obsidian to be seen so much. Uh, let me start with some stairs. So I'm going to go... This, and then three, and then all the way. So that will be kind of the entrance, just like that. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna leave the back side 
just the way it is. I don't, I don't have it planned where you will be accessing it from this side. It's just kind of the way the design works. Alrighty. Now for the sake of time, let's see. Uh, yeah, I want to work out just a little bit more before I leave you, so let me do a little bit more work off camera, and uh, and then we'll call an episode and finish it later this week. Okay, so here's where we stand so far. I have added some detail. You can see I've hidden the uh, the obsidian of the portal and given it some some detailing. Uh, I see something I want to do now. Extend those out, but. Uh, I like the kind of ominous look this has. It looks it looks very st sturdy and structural and significant. Like you should be scared when you enter this because um, stuff's about to go down, like it usually does in the Nether. And uh, overall, I'm I'm happy with how it's come together. Um, undecided if I want to do some kind of roof structure or not, or kind of just leave it out in the open. Uh, part of me really likes the idea of leaving it out in the open. But I'm worried about uh, stuff getting in. I might have to put some kind of gate set up here. Uh, but an interesting bug that is, uh, has presented itself with the... Hi there. Hi there. With the uh, snapshot. Oh, nope. It just went away. Um, well, that's weird. I'll, uh... Maybe it was this guy? Is it only this guy? No? No, he's not doing it. All right, well, I was recording, so I'll put that clip here to show you what it was doing. <laughs> See, I wasn't lying. Something weird with their uh, the zombie pig man's head was like clipping through the transparency of the, the portal. It was bizarre looking. But anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up for today or this episode. Um, actually, yes, let me fix the slimes up top first before I forget. I want to thank you for watching. As always, um, one or two. One. Sorry, it is, again, a choppy episode. I should really just stop apologizing for that. Um, you probably just should expect choppy episodes from me. It's just how it works. I record when I can, and uh, when I've got the idea on my mind, so sometimes it just takes time to piece this stuff together. I am not a very good uh, builder while doing commentary, so I try to hold back from doing that as much as possible. So it may be that... It's just kind of the, the style of Let's Play I do, where I talk about what I'm doing, and then I will do it off camera and show you the results. But I uh, hope, you, hope you like the, the Nether Portal area. I'm really pleased with it. If you have a suggestion, if you think it needs a roof, let me know. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty okay with it being out in the open for now. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.